All right, well, we got Oracle to basically deal with. Finally got some evil eyes to go through first. Let's see here. So you're the archer. Let's get this gone. Boom. Interesting. That worked out pretty well. Nice. Yeah, you get to um, eventually melee. Go! Guard. And fire. And fire. Oh! Charge! Uh, oops, lost a Crusader there, but oh well. Oops, she's forgetful. Alright, well, that's fine. She gets to cast our spells. Let's stop piece this guy so he can't do anything like that to her again. And you can go... He's forgetful too, apparently. Charge! Keep guarding. Nice, we got rid of him. And you're gonna go bleed him. They've got to cast spells again, so let's go with Saw Peace on him again. Or I'll like break if I attack him like this. Alright, so it doesn't break. That's a really devastating spell, Tom Peace then. You can basically get free attacks on people. Let's cast a spell then, I guess. Let's bless Lysander so he can kill this thing. Whoops. He can't get there in time. Oh well. We're done. Didn't get that Crusader back either, unfortunately. Orcs! Lots of them. That was awesome to do. Guard. You get to fight him. Down there you go. Keep guarding. Down to go. Nice. Once the rooms have been cleared um, of the enemy, you basically get the gold. More trolls, apparently. Fire. Keep firing. Keep guarding. Uh, wait. Keep 
He goes up a little bit, but that's fine. You can go for him. You get to keep guarding. Full health troll, but whatever. Keep guarding. Hit him. A lot of damage to these guys as they approach. Finish off this troll, I guess. And then fire him. And him. Guarding. You get to switch over to Melee now. Hit him in the back. Oops. I moved him instead of attacked. You know, I have a big problem with this game with misclicking for some reason. Whatever, we're done. Easy battle is easy. Cool, pool power. Bunch of gargles to fight. You get the weight. A lot of damage to them. If I was on dance, my guy can get an ar archer attack, maybe. Guess not. Oh well, let's just go like this and finish him off then. Finish these guys off. Ow. You get to heal yourself, I think. Couple deaths there. You can wait. Lost the Crusader again. We won. Alright, Lysander. Who's got nobility? Grandmaster Combat. So, so here's something I know about, like, you know, these skills, by the way. Nobility is basically like, like your, like, you know, governor type of, like, you know, skill. So if you leave guys in the town, they'll basically get benefits with, like, nobility. Tactics basically helps your creatures. So, like, you know, um, basically increases the million range attack for all uh, friendly creatures, increases the defense, leadership gives them morale and luck. And then you've got, like, um, the, like, Grandmaster Combat, which basically makes your hero more effective. Let's get uh, that for now, I think. We'll take out these zombies, I guess. A 
Oh, kills to them. Whoops, I moved them again. For him. Because I moved my monks, I better move these guys up to, I guess, to defend them, I guess. There we go. That's all done. You get to hit those guys, I guess. Well, that was a lot easier than I expected it to be. Well, well. Really not much to say. I see it now. I've been watching Lysander closely, and even if Profil um, had told me that, that the ancient soul now resides within his blah. And even if Profil hadn't told me that the ancient angel soul now resided within my lord's body, I would have suspected something was wrong. This is not the lord Lysander, although he had the same unfaltering determination. No one knew what torture Lysander was going through better than this angel, who experienced it for more than a century, so I understood why he pushed us so hard and fast. But still, he wasn't my lord, and I wouldn't rest until we freed Lysander. His soul would not suffer a moment longer than he had to, that I swear. Okay, we'll get this, and that, and this. This is a skilly door! Okay, experience. There's all my portal. Let's see what this one's all about. Before us was another one of the Oracle's towers, but the door to this one was locked. When Profil tried to force it open, we all heard this amount of voice fucking through the cavern. Only the two who are one may pass. Only the one knows Lysander and the angel knows Te Ephelon. And so I hope for the first time that our Lord's soul still lived. Alright, well we can go in here. I guess we have to go maybe up here? We're under attack by trolls! Guard. Fire. Fire. This looks like it'll be a little bit harder, this battle. You know what? Let's just start casting spells. Mass forever go! Fire! Not really in melee range yet, so let's keep ranging my guess down. That's not very effective. Mass Bless. And we'll go with... Hmm. Flare's like a defensive thing for archers, that's cool. There it is. I don't know where that was. There goes those trolls. Hey, can you get in range? Not quite, but whatever. You have to get down here at some point, so... Start marching this way. Keep guarding. Fire.
Okay, so let's do this. Oh, down he goes. Four trolls are still a lot. Um, you get the marks over here and hit them in the face. Nice damage. Oh no, I lost a monk. There they go. Keep guarding. Finish him. That went well. Alright, this is where I guess we go find the angel. Although Lysander's hands reached to open the magical prison, it was Terror Eflin who opened it. A burst of flame shot skyward, throwing Lysander back to the ground where he lay still. Then the flames died suddenly and a great pair of wings spread as the angel soared to freedom. I rushed to my lord's side, lifted Lysander's head to my lap, I could tell by his confused and exhausted expression that his soul was back in his own body, so I shouted for water. If there is ever time for something stronger, this is it. It will cool his nerves and soothe his pain, Prophet said, handing me one of his special flasks. It was a good idea. Before long, some color returned to Lysander's face and has opened his eyes, focusing them first on my face and then on Prophet's, then Tay Eflin's floated down next to us. How is he? the angel asked. I'll recover, Lysander said. And you? Tay Eflin bent over and kissed my lord's forehead. We are friends forever. Come, let me help you find the oracle. There is much to be done, but I didn't want to leave my lord's side. Profio must have noticed my reluctance, as he placed a hand on my shoulder. Go ahead, get the troops ready. Adamus and I will care for him, he said. We are priests after all. By midday, we were on our way again, um, again to find the oracle of dawn. I think we're clo closing in the end of this uh, mission, finally. Long, arduous mission this is. Look at that, we have an angel. Angels can resurrect friend, friendly tyrants who have died in combat, but only those who were living before they were killed. I've got an angel! Lysander and Angel, Teflon, touch the door together, and the Oracle Tower simply disappears. You have passed the last test, Teflon has said, placing his um, hand on Lysander's shoulder. You come to a wary set of stairs that disappear into the darkness. And we're on the last part of this area over here. Ooh, we got imps! Foul demons! There's resurrection, so... Brings a certain number of hit points, blah blah. I can resurrect people, basically. This guy's pretty powerful, but let's just not send him into death, so wait. Wait. Now here's something I want to try. Basically, I got, like, you know, anti... um, you know... Death type spells, like Holy Word here. Let's see what it does. That's what you know, basically these uh, death, um, anti death spells does. It'll do a lot of damage, like to death school type of things. There are those guys already. Those guys can steal your magic, I think, if what, what they're all about, so... Good to get rid of them. Boink! And we'll send out the angel to do his thing. Angel took a little bit of damage, that's fine. That was fun. Hey, I got the spell! 
The only thing he's able to get it because he got the aura magic spell for it, so the spell. Uh we'll take that. The satyrs wanna say hi. Fire. You can wait. You can wait. Fire. Fire. Destroy. It's funny how like a hero does so much damage like, compared to like everything else here. Hmm. Fire. Do the angel thing. Fire. Keep firing. And finish him. You can wait. You're funny. Attack my angel and die. Finish him. I think these guys have high morale too, by the way. But I can't recall on that. Uh, he's only got half his life left. Let's wait for him. Done. And that's done. Get some defense. Cool, ghosts. Wait, wait. Let's just let them come to me and I'll start sniping them. That's fun to watch. Anti magic, hooray! You get to not wait because you can't do that, I guess. Let's go like this. And we're done. Displacement, cool. Cause the target to move two yards in the direction, blah blah. And what are these guys? Frost demons? I found those are frost devils. Yeah, ice demons. These are um, a very like you know powerful de demon type of creature. I didn't realize Gargoyles are part of Death Faction. Interesting. Whatever. Boink. Boink. Keep them from doing anything. Guard. Uh oh, that's a lot of damage for him to take and not, you know, die too much from. 
definitely very powerful these things. Oh, he froze my angel in place. Take a couple more of them dead. Going with them, I guess. There's those. Like my angel again, apparently. Rimley, let's get to it. There we go. That's fine, dude. There's Holy Shout. There's Flight. Flight grants a friendly target the ability to fly until the end of the turn. Cool. Okay, you get to have... what? That. This. More experience, please. Nagas. Interesting. All right. Now something else is that these guys are resistant to ma magic, so casting magic on them is gonna be stupid. But I'm not really gonna do it anyways. Let's throw it out there. All right, them. You can wait. I think they're all pretty tough, these guys, even though they're not that strong. Like, these are tier 3, like, enemies of Nagas, and these are tier 2. Uh, might be foolish, but go for it. Damage him. Take a couple of them out. So that gold golem. Yeah, my angel's taking a beating here. Gotta watch out for his health. Let's cast a spell of healing on him. Ow. There they go. Take the hits. Take them all. All right, there we go.
There's a sacred fountain. I almost went the wrong way, didn't I? Oh well. Is this the Oracle? I think I expected the Oracle of Dawn to be a white-haired, wrinkled, and stooped as if she were bending beneath a great weight of her mystical power. She turned out to be closer to my age, attractive and shapely, with her strawberry hair hanging kinky strand, um, strands down her back. The Oracle wore a simple yellow robe cinched at her hips with her silver chain. She was drawing a broom over a blue gold fresco pattern on the floor. I didn't even notice it was a depiction of the rise of the sun until much later. Such was this woman's ability to captivate your attention. You are the Oracle of Dawn, Laura Lessinger asked. Next to him was Adamus. Profio and I remained several steps behind. I am. The Oracle crossed the floor, leaned her broom against a narrow column before approaching my lord. She stared in Lysander's eyes and smiled. You almost failed, she said several times. I know. But you are here. That is a testament to your courage, if not your determination. What are you asking me, Lord Lysander? The Oracle gestured for us to follow as she walked into the back of the temple, where a large window opened toward a horizon. You don't know, Lord Lysander asked. Yes, but I wonder if you know the, what question you want to ask. Which will it be, Lord Lysander? Will you ask me about Sir Wharton's past, or will you ask me about your own? Lysander didn't answer. And for the first time I saw the inner battle being waged within him. What a fool I had been. Of course, someone like the or or um, Oracle revealed the location of, of his siblings. My lord's long search could be over if he just asked this woman where to find him. But then he would not have the information he needed to expose Lauren's li lies and save Patria. What a choice. It wasn't fair. Before I could stop myself, I stepped forward and blurred. Why not tell him both? He has earned it. He has passed all your trials. The Oracle turned to me, but her expression was unbreathable. Lysander's hour was, un was unpleasant. Milton, he snapped. Remember your manners. I faded back, trying to disappear, but inside I fumed at the Oracle of Dawn. Which is it going to be, Lord Lysander? I can tell that you that you, that all your siblings still walk this plane of existence. I can even tell you where they are. Once again, L Lysander hesitated. Or, I could help you uncover the truths of Sir Warren's past. All you have to do is ask. After what seemed an eternity, Lysander swallowed as if preparing himself and said, Tell me of Sir Wharton's past. Is Sir Wharton a griffin heart? There was an equally pregnant pause before the Oracle of Dawn answered. She turned toward the window and stared at the blue sky for some time. Finally, she took Lysander's hands in hers and rubbed them almost lovingly. To seek the blood, seek the steel. The first step of many, take towards the wheel. Thank you, Lysander said. My, lo my lord leaned forward and kissed the woman's hands. He smiled and said, you are more a part of Pelzer than you know, Lysander. Good luck to you. Our audience was over. We turned at once to leave. I was the last one to the door, and then I heard the oracle call my name. Yes, I said nervously. I had to anger her with my interruption. What is your purpose, she said. What? What is your purpose, Squire Milton? Why do you exist? I still wasn't sure what answer she expected, so I gave her the first that came to mind. To serve my lord, Lysander. Is it, she said doubtful, as if she knew something I did not? The Oracle of Dawn reclaimed her broom, leaving me more confused than when I came in. And yay, we're done! What a long, long mission that was. Really, really long it was. It is a frightening world out there. Deadly, even. But hiding is no way to deal with it. Not everyone understood that, so Lord Lysander expected trouble when we marched into the isolationist territory known as the Wheel. But even he didn't know just how hard they would fight. Alright, well, so this next one will be find the Dessert Hero, lose Garrison, lose um, Lysander, or Procho, or attack the Garrison. Glenn G Garrison. So I can't attack the Glenn Garrison. Uh, carry over. Lysander profit on two of the most powerful heroes with all their spells, skills, and experience will transfer to the next map. Heroes and maximum level is 30. The Oracle of Dawn's word brings Lysander to wheel. This independent region gets its name from the numerous water wheels built on the banks of its crisscrossing rivers. The barons of the wheel are stubborn, isolationists, who don't care about what happens to Paldria. But if Lysander is going to uncover the truth about Sir Warren's bloodline, he must face them and find a proverbial needle in a haystack. Alright, so begin.
Nearly a week uh, after our encounter with the Oracle Dawn, we arrived at the border of that rebellious region as a wheel. The survivors of the Reckoning, who blamed the destruction of the old world on rulers like Queen Catherine and King um, Kilgore, gathered here for a few years ago in community bound by our one motto, Leave us alone, and we'll leave you alone. Until now, Lord Lysander had been glad to oblige. He had his own worries for now. But his experiences dealing with the barons of the wheel had taught him one thing. They would never allow him to enter the land freely, especially with an army. From a hilltop, we stared across the border into the wet wheel. In the morning, we would cross into enemy, ter enemy territory. I'll say it again, oracles just aren't worth the effort, Profil said. Amos shook his head in disappointment and said, My dear Profil, oracles provide the answers to mysteries, mysteries we might not ever sell on our own. Yeah, but they put you through tests that most men cannot pass. If you do survive, like our brave Lord Lysander here, then they give you a riddle of, of, as an answer. What good is that? Knowledge is never easily gained, Lysander said distantly. His behavior had been cold ever since his meeting with the Oracle. Adamus said, added, Have you deciphered the meaning of the Oracle's riddle, Lord, Lord Lysander? Not all of it yet. To seek the blood, seek the steel. The first step of many, take toward the, uh, take toward the wheel. Adamus repeated the Oracle of the Don's riddle. Obviously, I was supposed to come here to the wheel, Lysander said, and to seek the blood refers to my quest. I am searching for Sir Warren's two blood, his two parents. But what's this part about the steel? Profil asked. That I cannot say. The answers will come, Alan said confidently. Profil snorted in a distance, but thankfully he took a drink instead of speaking his opinion. Lysander came to his feet, leaving behind most of, of his, his me meal. Tomorrow we enter dangerous territory, he said as an excuse. All of my previous attempts to reason with the barons of the wheel have been quickly and really rebuked. Well, I no longer have time for diplomacy. It's a shame, I said. I'm kind of looking forward to a good battle, Profil boasted. Lysander returned to his tent to be alone. He is grieving. He is mourning the loss of his best and perhaps last chance to find siblings. Once again, I curse the Oracle of Dawn for forcing him to make a choice between family and Paldra. Alright, well. I got four heroes yet again. Or, wait, is it five? I got Crusaders, apparently, in their own little army, apparently. Cool. Oh wait, that's um, Crusaders, Champions, Pikemen, Monks, Crossbowmen. I got an army. Cool. So I can lead this army with a couple of people, but we'll deal with this next time. For now, let's just save the game. And I'll see you guys next time when we get to it. This is only two hours this time. That's good. Much, much smaller than last time.